So in three, two. What's going on, YouTube? Today we're going to be starting our series on my Madden franchise with the Denver Broncos. Um, we are going to be using my custom roster that I've made. If you haven't checked that out, go ahead and check that video out on the channel. Um, I went through and made a very, very good, um, just more realistic roster, contracts, rookies, free agents, all of the above. So if you want to check that out, go ahead. But we're going to be starting our franchise today with the Denver Broncos. And um, we are going to be starting here in the preseason. But I think first order of business, we're going to be solidifying this team's position as a competitor. We're going to go over here to the trade um, menu. And first things first, we are going to trade for the man himself, um, Aaron Rodgers. And, um, you know, it might take a bit to get him, but we are going to get this man on our team. Um, so I'm thinking probably we're going to want to send a first round this year, a first round next year. And um, let's let's try Teddy Bridgewater. Let's see if that's enough to get him to send him over here to Denver. And, oh, that's, that's pretty close, actually. Um, so we'll take away Teddy Bridgewater. Um, and we'll try perhaps a receiver. We have a pretty deep receiving room. I think I'd rather give away Tim Patrick uh, over Jerry Judy. So we'll try that out. And ooh, so that trade's actually worse. They don't want Tim Patrick, which is a little strange. So perhaps Cortland Sutton. First, I think I'm going to try a corner. Uh, let's try Ronald Darby first. Um, so if we try sending Ronald Darby over there, um, ooh, that's really getting close. Um, Let's try Cortland Sutton now. I'm getting this man on our team. You know, I know Cortland Sutton's good, but we do have Judy and Patrick and can always upgrade. Uh, oh, still close. It's going to take a good player. So looking at our guys better than Cortland Sutton, um, you know, you're looking at, ooh, Shelby Harris, Bradley Chubb, Kareem Jackson, Ken, uh, Kyle Fuller, Garrett Bowles, Justin Simmons, Vaughn Miller. I think I'm probably willing out of all these to give either Kareem Jackson or Kyle Fuller. Um, since we don't really have anyone at backup safety, though, I am going to try Kyle Fuller. You know, he's only with us for one year. We do have a super deep and talented roster, especially with Sertan. So we're going to try this. Maybe in return, we'll try to get a, we'll try to get a third round pick back. We'll see if they uh, offer, if they'll give that back to us. Um, ooh, and that's so close. I think, I think a fourth is going to do it. Um, a fourth from this year and, uh, submit the trade. And, uh, ladies and gentlemen, Aaron Rodgers is a Denver Bronco. So the Packers get Kyle Fuller and the Broncos now have Aaron Rodgers. And I mean, just look at this roster. I mean, you have Aaron Rodgers throwing the football, Melvin Gordon, Javante Williams. We kept all our receivers, um, a pretty good offensive line, really nice talent. And then the defense, um, really, really talented, obviously players across the board. And again, our corner room still looking very good, even without Kyle Fuller. So um, we're going to make sure our schemes fit our defense schemes perfect 71 percent uh it's looking like a best one um i think we're gonna stick with vertical power run here and uh yeah aaron Rodgers. we got him on our team so this is officially a aaron Rodgers uh competitive broncos team and uh at that point i think you're pretty much done we've already traded two first round picks so uh let's go on uh cream jackson wants to talk to us um, uh, we know about development traits, Kareem Jackson, so we're just gonna say thanks for that. And, um, yeah, so now we're gonna, we're gonna go through and, uh, play the moment for these preseason games. Obviously, they're not that important, but we will see if, um, any rookies or anyone really shows out. So we're gonna play the moment for these games, upgrade our players, of course. Uh, Cortland Sutton's got an upgrade, actually. Um, we're gonna give him some more deep threat ability, um, get him a little bit quicker, a little bit better, and he gets, um, looks like, uh, catch and traffic, deep route running, uh, release, and spin move. So, uh, pretty nice upgrades there for Sutton. Austin Fort will just send that upgrade. And, uh, yeah, so we're gonna be moving on now to play the moment against the 49ers in our first preseason game of the year. And, ladies and gentlemen, we are in the game starting off here in the regular or the preseason not the regular season the preseason against the 49ers at home we're gonna skip this little introduction here we'll save that for the proper season opening and a uh, third down opportunity here for the broncos to make a stop uh las vegas beat seattle there in their preseason uh opening so uh we're gonna come in here we still got the starters on the field obviously it is just the first quarter um and yeah so Oh, and uh, Josie Joel makes a nice play in coverage there. 
uh, to stop the 49ers on third down. Um, for big first quarter drive. Um, it's not the first drive of the first quarter. Well, it actually might be. No, never mind. This is our first drive. Um, so Aaron Rodgers taking his first appearance on the field as a Denver Bronco. Maybe we'll just have him play a couple snaps and then take him out, make sure he doesn't get injured. But uh, Noah Fant, we're going to try across the middle. Oh, and Fred Warner breaks that up with some good coverage there. Uh, we're going to go for a little run up the middle here. Uh, try to get some traction downfield. Melvin Gordon is going to be lined up in the backfield, ready to take the handoff from Aaron Rodgers. And um, sees a bit of a hole. Oh, Melvin Gordon. Oh, a nice ball. Oh, Melvin Gordon keeps going. Melvin Gordon breaking the tackles downfield. Celebrating on his way to the end zone. Touchdown, Denver Broncos. What a play by Melvin Gordon. Wow. 85 yards to the house. What an incredible play there by Melvin Gordon. And it uh, looks like Denver going to be once again trying to make the stop here. Um, they are The 49ers are on the opposite side of the field. But again, what a, what a fantastic play by Melvin Gordon there. Um, okay, uh, we're going to be covering Kittle. Oh, wide open. Oh, oh, he drops it though. Simmons with a great pop-out hit to once again stop the Niners on third down. This defense is playing shut down right now. And uh, offense making the way down the field again, um, nearing the end of the first quarter. We're gonna why not give it to Melvin Gordon again? Look at what he did last time. Third and two, uh, only need two yards to pick up the first down. And Melvin Gordon gonna run up the middle, and he gets that first down. Denver Broncos. Melvin Gordon having himself a game already at 98 yards and a touchdown. And this is just the first quarter, folks. Um, okay, another third down opportunity here for Denver. Then we're gonna try to surprise him. We're gonna throw a quick slant. Um, try to get him out here and um, ooh, oh, we're gonna hit Sutton across the middle there for a nice pickup on third down now at the 11 yard line uh, red zone opportunity and um, clock running down we're gonna actually just let the clock expire here for the first quarter to be over and with the first quarter being over I think now we're gonna switch in uh, some of our backups um, make sure our starters stay healthy and stuff um, I think we're gonna put in um, Oh, did it do it for us? <laughs> you know, Madden doesn't normally do those kind of things. Did they do it for us? Um, yes, they did. Okay, so our backups, Javante Williams in now at running back, Teddy Bridgewater at quarterback, and Javante Williams going to take the snap up the middle, gets a nice little gain there for four yards. Javante Williams, his first snap as an NFL running back. Uh, look at this draft class a uh, couple years here ago from the Broncos. Jerry Judy, obviously a great pick. Um, you know, also picking up a few other great players. KJ Hamler didn't have the best rookie season, but shows a lot of promise. And KJ Hamler being our number one receiver on the field right now. We're going to try Javante Williams over to the side here. And Javante Williams is going to get not stopped. He's actually going to push his way up for uh, no gain, but no loss. Um, and we're going to have to be throwing it here. Looks like we're probably going to be looking for our tight end here in this situation. Um, or no, not our tight end. No. We're going to be looking, looking for probably Hammer. It looks like he might have an open spot there in the middle of the field. Uh, oh, bad play. Bad decision on my part. No one was really open there unless I completely missed it. Uh, Niners get a stop on third down. And the Broncos are just going to kick the field goal here. And uh, McManus, it is good. And Broncos go up by seven. Um... Yeah, so that was a bad that was a bad play on my part. Maybe there was someone open, but I didn't see him. 49ers marching their way down the field at their own eight or at the Broncos' 18 yard. Now uh, Trey Lance is on the field for the 49ers and uh, making his first start as an NFL quarterback in preseason, of course. And he's going to take off running and ooh, uh, nice hit there, uh, nice tackle by Malik Reed and I think that's Justin Sternat. Oh, that's Baron Browning actually, uh, the third round pick for Denver this year and. Uh, here, I think we're going to be going for a blitz. Josie Joel up the middle. Oh, and oh, flag on the field. What could that be for? Um, oh, okay. That is going to be um, roughing the passer on Deshaun Williams over there. Niners pick up a free first down. Uh, we're going to be running cover two here. Keep our corners down low in case they do that little curl route or anything like that. And uh, they're going to wrap the middle. Oh, and a touchdown right there for, I believe, that's Raheem Mostert. Uh, maybe Trey Sermon. Who is that? Oh, that's going to be Wayne Gallman getting a touchdown there right up the middle. No one was even on him. Uh, so free touchdown there for the Niners. Broncos marching their way down the field. Two minutes left. I think, yeah, that's going to be the two-minute warning right there. And uh, third down here for Denver. We're going to... Um, 
go with this play right here. We're probably looking for Hamler downfield or Fant on the short little route. And uh, we're going to pick up Fant. Can we get that to... Oh, oh, Okwagbunam. Not Fant. Okwagbunam picks up the first down. What a great play there by Bridgewater and Okwagbunam. Um, and that's going to be a first down for Denver. In the red zone, we're going to once again play here. And I think we're going to go with... Um, we're going to go with a nice little bench route right here. Or I call it bench route. Just an out route, really. Um, I'm struggling to think of the name. We're going to hit X right there. And he is open. Hamler down to the two-yard line. Uh, Denver ready to make it. Can we give Javante Williams his first touchdown as an NFL back here? Um, can he run it up the gut? Williams up the middle. And touchdown, Javante Williams. Um, great play there. Great drive. Uh... End of the second yard here now for Denver. Or end of the second yard. End of the second quarter here for Denver. 49ers marching down the field. Excuse that noise in the background, by the way. Um, 49ers marching down the field. And they're going to kick a field goal here. We're going to let them go ahead and do that. Um, <laughs> excuse the background noise. Sorry. Um, but 49ers make the field goal. Eight seconds left in the third. Is that third? No. Uh, in the second quarter. And it uh, looks like the clock's going to expire out here. Now in the third quarter, um, it looks like Denver's going to have the ball at their own 50-yard line. Third down. Um, we're going to be looking for a pickup here. Once again, probably looking for Hamler. And uh, no one seems to be open. Throw it away, Bridgewater. Oh, that's going to be uh, that's gonna be intentional grounding. I thought he was back far enough. Um, that kind of sucks. So fourth down. Uh, no conversion there by Denver. And, yeah, they're going to punt that away. 49ers um, looking to be stopped here at, their, uh, at the opposite 46. And uh, let's see if we can get the stop here for Denver. Lance ready to throw, and he's going to throw it to... Is he going to throw it? Oh, he is going to throw it, and oh, he gets a conversion, but there is a flag on the field. Who could this be on? Oh, that's going to be a holding on the offense. Um, Tom Compton, we're going to back that up five yards, and you get to try again, Lance. Third and 14 this is going to be a pretty difficult task here for Trey Lance to convert. Um, he's going to take it. Oh, he throws it to his tight end, and they do not pick up, so 49ers stopped on third down. They're also going to punt it. Um, Denver getting the ball back once again. Oh, no, it looks like they turned it over. Uh-oh. Well, 49ers are already in the opposite um, already at the 10-yard line. Denver has to make a really nice stop here um, so they don't get a touchdown. Uh, oh, Wynn Gallman's going to run up and get uh, eight yards there. Not good for us. We're going to blitz here. Hopefully they don't get nothing. And... Oh, they're all covered. They're all covered. Oh, they get that in the end zone. What a pass by Trey Lance. What a dime. And the 49ers get the touchdown and they're going to go up by three um oh denver scores a touchdown though making it 24 to 20 but niners once again marching down the field we got a game here folks um trey lance once again in the pocket he's going to find um he's running back there for a nice little gain trey lance actually not having a bad game uh here in his first um showing as a quarterback um, oh, we're running 4-3 because it gave me suggestions. But we're going to try to stop him here on fourth down. This might be for the game. And we're going to... Oh, good job. Patrick Sertan with the pass. Um, knocked down. Stopping the Niners on fourth down. But uh, it looks like the Niners got the ball right back. Denver didn't waste any time off the clock at all. We're going to run man coverage here. Um, Joel's going to try to rush up the, uh, the middle. And a sack. Jonathan Cooper with his first sack as an NFL player in the preseason. What a play. Uh, looks like Denver's got the ball back. Uh, and they're going to be trying to put away the game here. Um, we're going to waste... Or after this play, we're going to try to choose some clock. Um, Javante Williams, nice little gap for a nice little gain there. We're going to put on two clock. And uh, just keep pounding up the middle because that's what Javante Williams does best. <laughs> if you look at that... Uh, Cardinals and Green Bay tied at zero. Interesting. Um, yeah, so Javante Williams is going to take it up the middle again. Two-minute warning. Um, I do believe that they have all three timeouts left. Yeah, the 49ers still have three timeouts. 
So uh, we'll see if they'll be taking this game seriously, trying to win. Uh, Javante Williams up the middle again, and he's going to get the first down. Niners use a timeout, their first. Um, and it's looking good here for the Broncos. As long as they don't do nothing stupid, they've got this game in the bag. Um, so, yeah. Javante Williams going to take it up the middle again. And he sees a hole and nice little gainage of yards there. Once again, Niners use a timeout. They're going to definitely have to stop Denver here if they want any chance of winning this game. Um, still one more timeout left, though. Javante Williams is going to take it, and he's running up. Oh, he's got the first down. Uh, unless the Broncos do something stupid, that's going to probably be the game. Um, Niners use their final timeout. And uh, once again, we're just going to be running it up the middle. Uh, Javante Williams shouldn't fumble. Pretty good uh, at holding onto the ball. So uh, he works his way up there. And we're just going to chew the clock out. But uh, Javante Williams also with a really solid game to open up his career. And uh, once again, going to run it up the middle and uh, stopped there by that stingy Niners defense. Weren't stingy enough, though, in this game. And uh, they're going to probably take one more snap, and that will be the game. Really, we should just kneel it, but who cares? It's the preseason. Javante Williams going to get a nice little yard. Uh, gain of yardage and that is going to be the game denver comes out of game one of the preseason with a w um so yeah that was game one of the preseason we're not going to kick this we're just going to let the clock run out and yeah so that was game one i will see you guys in game two in just a second okay before we get into that week two game we actually do have a little thing here from uh, bobby macy offensive line mentorship uh, he's talking about quinn miners um he thinks he could be a difference maker on the offensive line um, do we want to work on pass blocking or run blocking? Personally, I prefer one run blocking so we can run it up the middle a bit more easy. Uh, so we're going to say run blocking here. And uh, he's going to ask run blocking power or run blocking finesse. And uh, we're going to, again, do power so we can just run it up the middle, um, push those guys back. So uh, Quinn Miner is going to receive three blocking uh, run block power there. Um, and then uh, if he doesn't let up a sack in the next game he will receive an overall boost so that we'll be looking for that in this game but uh yeah let's get into this um second preseason game against the chicago bears and for our second preseason game of the season against the chicago bears we're once again going to be at home um and first drive here chicago driving down the field um, and we're going to have our defense come out there and try to make a stop here um, while the Bears are at the 13-yard line. Um, Allen Robinson over there on the left, obviously a great receiver for the Bears. We're going to have to worry about him this game. But they are going to run up the middle, and a really nice stop there by uh, Shelby Harris. Great play there uh, to keep David Montgomery to no gain on the play. Actually, a loss of yard. One one yard loss on the play. Um, here, we're going to be covering Jimmy Graham. Andy Dalton has nowhere to throw. Ix oh, he does find his running back, though, and they're going to have one yard to go for that first down. Ooh, they left the running back wide open there. We're going to be blitzing here, uh, hoping to God they don't run a slant route, and we're going to go up the middle. Johnson is going to, oh, but they get Jimmy Graham, and they're in for a touchdown. Uh, Bears already up seven to nothing. Denver's gonna have to look to strike right back here, and uh, they're gonna just punt it away. Bears defense looking good today, apparently. Um, but on offense, we do get the ball back, and we're gonna be looking here. Sutton has a really nice height advantage over there. Um, we're gonna be putting him on a slant route though, and uh, we're gonna be running this play. Aaron Rodgers looking and looking, and he's gonna try to hit Fant. Oh, but it's picked off after as he's hit. And, uh, oh, the guy is going to be tackled, whoever that is, Desmond Trufant, going to be tackled. But an interception there by Aaron Rodgers had Fant, but got hit as he threw and threw the pick. Bears making their way back up to score their second touchdown, looking to go up here by two scores. Um, Denver going to be looking to stop them on third down here, uh, make them try the field goal. We're going to be covering... Uh, trying to cover Allen Robinson, and they're going to throw it, but uh, no gain. Or if there was a gain, it was short, and uh, that's going to be a third down stop there for Denver. Um, but it looks like they're going for it on fourth down. Oh, it tells us that. Um, but they're, So it's a fake field goal. I'm just going to sim it. I don't like that. Um, I don't want to know that they're going to fake it. So, trade possession. Um, it looks like they just ended up kicking the field goal anyways. So, um, we're going to be doing play the moment here. Come on. Uh, play the moment. 
So Denver going to march down the field, and they're at the four-yard line. We're going to try to punch it in here with Javante Williams. Or, uh, he's not on the field yet, uh, with Melvin Gordon. They're playing goal line defense, though. We're going to still try it. Punch it up the middle. Melvin Gordon, go, go. Oh, he gets stopped at the three. Uh, three yards to go here for Denver. And, uh, you know, heck, we're going to try it again. If, it, if We're going to try one more time, and if not, we'll probably go to pass for the next play. Um, Melvin Gordon going to try to run it up. Oh, and he gets hit hard by Khalil Mack, um, or Khalil Mack, Roquan Smith. Um, tough break there for Melvin Gordon getting hit pretty hard. Uh, so we're going to try the slant route here with Sutton, have Fant on a little curl type route. And uh, Aaron Rodgers is going to be looking. No one's open. He's going to have to throw it away as no one was open. And Denver's going to have to kick the field goal here. Um... We'll kick it, I guess. Go ahead. We'll we'll kick it for them instead of the C CPU. Sometimes the CPU misses it anyway, so that kind of sucks. But uh, field goal, Denver on the board, but still down by seven as the second quarter is coming to a close. Um, Chicago getting the ball back and driving down the field with pretty much ease on the two-yard line. Denver's going to be looking to stop them. Um, again, hoping they don't run a slant route here, but... We're going to spread the D-line. Johnson going to run up the middle. Oh, but he gets a free walk-in into the end zone. Uh, another touchdown for the Bears. They're kind of putting it on here in Denver. Uh, Denver, once again, down by two scores. Final drive of the second quarter. Denver's going to be looking for that touchdown this time. And uh, Jerry Judy, a pretty favorable matchup on the outside. Um, but we're going to try to hit Hamler across the middle here. Oh, and or Patrick, not Hamler. Patrick catches it. For a nice pickup, we're gonna run some hurry up here. Try to get some bit a bit deeper downfield. Um, we're gonna keep Gordon for blocking, and then we're gonna run. Patrick might have that matchup again. We're gonna oh bad pass again. Rogers hit as he throws it again. Um, Eddie Jackson picks that one off. Um, yeah, unfortunate throws here. Denver's uh, Khalil Mack and uh, Robert Quinn are really getting to Rogers here. Um, but we do get the ball back without them scoring. We're going to try to go down the field here. There is still a bit of time left, and it's the preseason. Uh, we are going to try to score at least once before the half ends. Oh, and Fant, open across the field, running, um, makes a man miss. We're going to have to run, hurry up here. We have timeouts, but I'm going to use those in a little bit. Um, Sutton might have the matchup. Oh, he doesn't. Oh, but Khalil Mack for the sack, and we're going to have to use a timeout there. Khalil Mack is really dominating right now. Obviously, a pretty unfavorable matchup with him and Bobby, his former teammate, Bobby Macy, over there. Um, we're going to be trying to run the same exact play, but we are going to put Sutton on a slant, and we're going to have Okunbunum just run straight up field. Um, looking here, Fant, we're going to try to hit that. Oh, but yeah, that was a tough one. That was a tough catch for Fant, and he can't make it. Um, here, we're going to go into the shotgun, and we're going to be looking for where is the play. Smash pivot. Uh, guys going on some out routes, trying to hit those corners. Uh, if we can get them here, that would be nice. We still do have a couple timeouts if we do get the first down. Uh, but no one's going to be open, and Rodgers taken down again. Bears use a timeout here. That Bears defense is playing pretty stingy right now. Um, a lot for the offensive line to handle, and it's making Aaron Rodgers uh, deal with a lot of pressure right now. We're going to punt it off here, though. Sam Martin hitting it. Hopefully, we can get a good punt. Ooh, that might not be the good punt. Ooh, no, that's out of 35, 38. Ooh, that's a pretty bad punt. Luckily, there's only 11 seconds left, and uh, they don't get anything out of it. But um, Bears, no, Broncos marching down the field here, and they're at the 16. We're going to put Cortland Sutton on that. Um, on the slant route again we're gonna have fan going up field we're gonna try to hit him right here but no one's open once again we're gonna hit sutton sutton catches it for the touchdown never mind that's hamler not sutton it's the preseason and players keep changing but hamler with a touchdown broncos have made this a one score game down by seven and here they're gonna be looking to stop the chicago defense get that ball back and go down and tie the game up but that starts with stopping chicago here with third and ten to go and uh, Joel is going to be matched up here on the receiver. Oh, we're going to cover the slam route. Oh, we should have stayed on the receiver. Oh, we really should have stayed on the receiver. As he gets a really nice, really easy game right there. Justin Fields on the field for the Bears. Marching his way down the field. Um, <laughs> Fields down the field. Um, and we're going to try to stop him here before they can get that first down. Or especially the touchdown. 
Um, it is still only third quarter, so there is time. But Justin Fields trying to escape the pocket. Oh, and he gets taken down to Sean Williams. Um, nice sack there for him. Justin Fields could have broken out there, and that would have been a touchdown more than likely. We know the way he likes to run. Um, second down and 12 here. They're going to run up the middle. Oh, and he's going to get a nice little um, play right there. Damien Williams coming over from the Chiefs to the Bears. Third down here. Broncos are going to be looking to stop him. Hopefully they can just keep him to a field goal. Joel going to be covering the running back here. Oh, the tight end left wide open, but luckily Fields threw it a little too far. And that's going to be fourth down. They're going to kick the field goal. Denver will only be down by 10 here instead of 14. Makes it a bit easier, but um, with the way their offense has been playing this year, or this game, and the way the Bears defense has been, might be a tough task to ask for this Broncos offensive line. Broncos get the ball back. Already third down, but they are up to the 44. Looks like they had a really nice big play there. Um, we're going to be looking here for probably Fant to get open. If not, maybe we'll be looking for Williams. Um, here, no one's going to be open. They're going to try to hit Hamler and Hamler across the field. What a play by Bridgewater. And uh, they're going to stop him on back-to-back -back plays here. Another third down situation. We're going to be going for all these slants and send uh, Okwakunam up the field. Seth Williams, Deontay Spencer, and Hamlin on the field. Hamlin with the big speed advantage. And he's going to use that speed to try to get in front of here. And he drops it. Well, luckily, the Broncos do need a field goal. So we didn't have to get the touchdown there. Would have been nice. But we're going to kick the field goal and get um, knock that lead down to seven. And it is good for McManus. Seven-point game. Bears leading. Um, hopefully, the Broncos defense can make a stop here. And it looks like they are going to make it a third down. Oh, wait, the Broncos get the ball back. Um, yeah, a turnover there by Chicago. Gives the Broncos a really nice uh, situation here. Third and inches. We're going to hand it off to Williams up the middle, and he's going to get that. Um, six minutes left in the fourth quarter. Denver looking for that tying drive right now. And a nice, really, really nice passing play there by Rod or by Bridgewater. Um, and we're going to be looking for the touchdown here. 10 yards to go, though. Uh, let's see if we can pick the gain up here. And we're going to be looking to X, whoever that is. And he gets it. Hamler, the second touchdown of the game. What a catch in coverage. Great play there by Broncos. They, they tie it all up after looking pretty bad in the first quarter. But the defense is now going to be after task with stopping this Bears offense once again. Um, here on third and five, Broncos looking for that stop. We're going to have Jewel covering this guy on the slant. Oh, and a guy wide open. Damian Williams wide open for the catch there. And the Bears are going to keep this drive alive. All they really need is a field goal uh, to put themselves in front. But they get the touchdown. Um, Broncos offense is going to have to drive down the field here and get that once again, get that game-tying score. Um, second and ten here. Three and a half minutes left. Can Bridgewater make it happen? We're going to hit Javante Williams across here. And really nice first down there. Nice catch by Javante Williams. Um, so, yes, nice play there. Uh, we're going to be looking for probably a run play right here. Try to break it downfield. We still do have a bit of time. We don't want to give him too much time to score. Uh, so Javante Williams going to run it up the middle and tries to find a hole, but there is a flag on the field. Might be holding on the Broncos, and it is going to be holding on the Broncos. So that's going to set him back five yards. Not what we wanted. Um, you know what? Heck, we're gonna we're gonna go for a little play action here. We haven't done that yet. Uh, hit him with something surprising. They might be expecting to run here, and uh, it looks like they might have been. But oh wow! I should have thrown it to RB. Oh, I should have thrown it to RB. I saw the guy coming and didn't want to give up the sack. Instead, we give up the yards and the down. Just as a sack would have happened. Second and 30. Not looking good here for Denver. They need a couple big plays here. Not the best situation. Um, the offensive line is really struggling this game. Making it difficult for this Broncos offense. Uh, we're going to try to hit Hamler across the middle. Hamler picks it up. 25 yards or something around there. 28, 27 yards there by Hamler. Third and three now for Denver. Much, much easier to convert. Hamler is having himself quite a game. Um, Hamler, another favorable matchup right here. Let's see if he can get it. 
Um, Bridgewater's going to have to run out of the pocket. He's going to try to look for Hamler once again in the end zone. And, oh, it's broken up there on third down. We're going to have to go for it on third down, though. I think we're going to try and run up the middle, depending on what they're running. Ooh, they're running pretty something, but I do see a nice little gap up the middle. As long as they block, we can pick this up. Javante Williams up the middle, and he doesn't get it. I don't think he gets that. Oh, no, he doesn't get the first down. Denver's going to have to make a stop here if they want any chance at this game. Two minutes left, all three timeouts. Not looking good, but very possible. Javante Williams was so close to that first down. Uh... He's going to throw it, Justin Fields, but sacked by Jonathan Cooper once again. That's his second sack of the preseason. Jonathan Cooper looking pretty promising for the future for this Broncos team. Who knows? We might have our Von Miller replacement right there. He's probably only here for this last year. Um, second and 15 for the Bears. Two-minute warning on by. We're going to have to start using our timeouts after this. Um, he's going to go into play motion with his fullback. They're going to hand it off. Oh, and there's no one to stop him except... Four. Who is that? I think that's Nate Hairston for the stop there on the second down. Oh, timeout. Well, oh, whoops. <laughs> I'm supposed to use my timeout there. Um, a minute 25 left. Denver's got to make this third down stop here. They've got to. Um, Bears have three tight ends on the field. Looks like they're running it, but they're probably not. Um, although they could be. I'm in pass coverage, though. And it looks like they are going to be running it. They run up the middle, but Josie Joel there for the stop on Damian Williams. That's the Broncos' second timeout, and they're going to be getting the ball back here. And uh, we're going to be looking for a game-winning drive from Teddy Bridgewater here. Um, let's see if we can get a nice return here first with Hamler, who, again, has just been having a fantastic game up to this point. And, uh, oh, he's going to get tackled. No one blocked for him. That's a little disappointing. Um... No blocking. Bridgewater's going to have to go 75 yards, 70, 74 yards technically, if he wants to put this game into overtime. Um, actually, dude, does overtime go into... Does preseason go over, into overtime? Perhaps not, but... Um, we're going to be looking... Fant! Wide open! Oh, Bridgewater with a horrible pass! Oh, Bridgewater, no! Oh, that's probably game. He had Fant in Bridgewater... Just threw a horrible pass there. Wow. Broncos are going to have to be... Yeah, the, the Bears are just going to kneel it. That's that's a disappointing loss there for the Broncos. Hamler had himself a game. Cooper had a sack. But just a horrible play. A horrible throw there by Bridgewater there at the end. Sealing it for Denver. Turnoffs hurt, uh, turnovers hurt them in this game. Um, they're going to definitely have to focus on not doing that in the regular season, obviously. But with this second game, more likely than not over, um, unless something drastic happens. We will call a timeout here because they did run it for some reason. So perhaps we can get the ball back. Um, it's looking, yeah, they're going to nail it here. So this, this game is over. Um, with this game being over, though, I will see you guys here in the third preseason game. And we'll see what Bobby Ma Massey has to say about Quinn Miners as well. And we're back here with Bobby Massey, and Quinn Miners held up very good there in that game. And he's going to gain three awareness here. Quinn Miners probably up to a 70 overall now at that center position. Um, we'll see, and he's up to a 71 actually already. <clears throat> Excuse me. So Quinn Miners developing nicely there. We're going to sim ahead to next week, and I'll see you in our week three preseason game. Actually, a bit of a surprise here. I've never seen this one. But uh, we have a quarterback mentorship uh, message here from Aaron Rodgers. Um, Coach, I'm not sure why you kept Drew Locke out of the game, but if the kid's going to play a key role in the team, I think he needs to be more uh, play more than a few downs in the game. Um, how can I help? I just want to make sure he's successful, and because that means we're successful. Mentor the starting QB, work with the O-line instead, or challenge a def challenge defense practice. Uh, sure, Aaron Rodgers. I mean, you can definitely go ahead and mentor uh, Locke. Yeah, go ahead. Um, do we want him to help on breaking sacks, throwing on the run, throwing under pressure? Probably throwing under pressure. He's a young quarterback with not a very good uh, not very good throw under pressure, I imagine. So uh, that's going to give Drew Locke three under pressure. And I was actually thinking in, the, in this third preseason game, we're going to actually start... Um, a lot of the rookies first and stuff. So we're going to have Aaron Rodgers sit entirely this game. Um, we're going to bring in... Um, we're going to have Teddy Bridgewater start it off. Drew Locke finishing the game. 
For running back, we're going to start it off with, uh, we're going to have Williams and Gordon rest this game. Um, we're just really looking to prevent injuries at this point. Um, so we're going to be starting Royce Freeman, Mike Boone at second. Um, then we got Luante Bellamy and then Dormaria Crockett. Uh, fullback is fine. Receiver, we can keep the receivers the same, honestly. We're not really looking to start anyone over here. I mean, I don't really care about Tyree Cleveland. Tight end is fine. We're going to start the offensive line as per normal. Um, and we'll actually, we'll, we'll leave the rest of it the same, except for we're going to put, um, Malik Reed in and Derek Tuska. So Von Miller is not going to be playing this game. Um... And then at right outside linebacker, we'll keep Bradley Chubb in. Um, and we'll put our two, uh, we'll, we'll put our two um, rookie safeties in for this game. Um, we'll put them at second, though, so they play a majority of the game. We're just going to, you know, get some of our younger guys some experience here. Um, you know, so they can develop a bit and uh, we'll see how they play. Make sure they're not really bad or anything. Um, oh, and we actually have to put Jamar at second here, and yeah, so we're going to be starting it like that for this game, and I will see you in our week three game against the Rams. Ladies and gentlemen, here at Sophie Stadium, the newest and very good-looking stadium, Broncos are going to be playing their first away preseason game of the preseason, um, and as you already seen, we're going to be starting a lot of our rookies, so I don't expect us to win this game, honestly. Rams are a pretty good team. But uh, we are going to be getting some experience for our guys. So Drew Locke is going to be, or uh, actually Teddy Bridgewater is going to be starting this game out. Drew Locke will finish it for him. Um, and down here in the red zone at the start of the game, Bridgewater is going to be looking for Fant in the end zone. And uh, yeah, pretty off pass there by Bridgewater. That wasn't back foot, so I don't know why it said it was. That was only first down, and he threw it out of the field, luckily. So we're going to be running it up the middle here. Uh, Sutton's got a pretty, actually looking disadvantage. He is on a... <laughs> on um, Jalen Ramsey over there, so that's obviously a pretty tough matchup for him. But uh, Royce Freeman in the game for the first time this preseason. He's going to be starting it off for us. Uh, Bridgewater going to hit Fant, but uh, going to be a loss of yards, actually, on that play. And, uh, yeah, that was not a very good uh, red zone attempt there by the Broncos. We didn't really have anywhere to throw in that last play. But uh, the Broncos will go up by three here to start off the game. Um, Rams are going to be getting the ball in a second. And Rams are going to march on the field, but stopped by Denver. Stopped a few times, actually. And now the Rams are go or Broncos are going to be back in the end zone, red zone. Uh, or almost the red zone. And going to be looking for a touchdown this drive. Um, we're going to call a run play here, so we're going to convert to that. And we're going to hand it off to Royce Freeman once again. He's going to go and get that first down for us. Uh, just outside the red zone at the 21, Denver's going to be looking for um, the <laughs> touchdown here. I'm starting to uh, <laughs> forget what I need to say. We're going to send Fant up here, Oakwood Boonham there, and no one's going to be open. We're going to try to hit Sutton here, but a bad pass again. Um, hit as he's throwing once again by Teddy Bridgewater. You know, Bridgewater at times can play really well, but just, you know, at times can make very bad throws. Um, but once again, we're going to be right back in the end zone. Our defense is playing very, very well this game. Definitely keeping us in the game. Uh, there's going to be no one to throw to here. Like, literally no one to throw to. We're going to try to hit X there on the side. Oh, and one-handed. Oh, it's out of bounds, though. That would have been quite an incredible catch there from Judy, I believe that was. Um, almost an incredible play there. Um, we're going to be looking here. B, wide open. Uh, oh, and a bad play again. Bridgewater just not throwing well. Honestly, Locke might end up being our backup. Because Bridgewater has not been playing very well. Of course, we'll have to see how Locke plays general. Oh, he was outside of the pocket. Come on. He was outside of the pocket. Regardless, we'll be kicking the field goal, but I think he was outside the pocket. Um, yeah. Okay, well, we're going to be kicking the field goal again. At least we're up by six. Uh, Rams are at zero because our defense is playing very well, apparently. So, McManus, field goal is good. Broncos are going to go up by six.
So Broncos, once again, with the ball on third down, uh, we're going to put uh, Cortland Sutton on this little slant route once again. And we're going to be looking and looking, and we're going to be trying to hit Fant here. Fant, oh, it gets broken up there by Jalen Ramsey, obviously the best corner in the game. Tough break for Fant there. We're going to be looking to uh, once again hit the field goal and go up by nine this time, and it's going to be good, more than likely. That's going to be good by McManus. Broncos up by nine. Um, three field goals in this game. Very, very exciting, as you can tell. Our defense, again, once again, is luckily playing very, very well for us. Um, and Denver, once again, is going to have the ball. However, this is going to be for the last drive of the second quarter. Um, our defense has still held the Rams really good, so um, good job on them. We're going to be looking at hand. Oh, we're going to get Tim Patrick across the middle of the field. Tim Patrick down the field for a big game there uh, before the two-minute warning. Great play there by Tim Patrick. Um, a very unfavorable matchup there for whoever he was on. Uh, we're going to be looking for Fant down the middle here, especially since they are just playing a high safety. And also some slants, and we're going to be seeing Fant is going to be wide open. Fant is going to run and get to pick up a good amount of yards there. Broncos now at the 12-yard line looking for the touchdown. We're going to run it out to the side here um, with Royce Freeman. Um, and Royce Freeman is going to take the handoff. He's going to run some good blocking up front. And Royce Freeman not fast enough to bend around the edge. Gets a couple yards, but doesn't quite get there. Um, we're going to try running it once again, kind of up the middle. Freeman going to take it, and he sees a hole. He's going to go up the hole, and he gets the first down, I think, but not the touchdown. Um, Freeman having an okay game. Definitely not um, on the level of Williams or Gordon, but we're going to be looking for a small little passing play, and he's going to get to Oakwood Boonham for the touchdown there. Broncos are going to go up by 16 here. Um, offense getting it at least somewhat done. Uh, defense really getting it done here in this game. Once again, stopping that Rams offense. And Denver will be right back in the end zone again. This might actually be a blowout um, because our defense is playing so well. Um, I'm going to have to manually... Sw oh, B is wide open. Oh, but it's picked off again. That's disappointing. <laughs> B was wide open, then he started going left. That was kind of my fault. It looks like the Rams picked up Trey Boston. Oh, which, by the way, we'll have to look at the free agents where they signed. But uh, we're going to put in the... Um, fourth quarter here. I'm going to stop it. We got to put in um, some of our guys manually, apparently, since uh, I guess they're just not going to put them in for us. Um, so here at quarterback, well, now Drew Locke. Okay, so now it did it. I don't, <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Um, so now our guys are in. Drew Locke on the field. Um, it looks like the Rams turned the ball over. Drew Locke is going to be looking for Noah Fant on his first pass, and he's going to hit, uh, or Austin Fort, not Noah Fant, uh, Austin Fort. He's going to hit him there. Nice play there by uh, Locke. Hopefully he can look pretty good. Honestly, with the way Bridgewater's been playing, I don't know if he's going to be our backup going into the season. Um, I, I think we'll keep him on the roster, but oh, yeah, I, I saw pressure, and I just threw it. Yep. <laughs> um, you know, Locke has the arm, though. At least we, we see that, obviously. Locke has the arm, but um, did not result in a good play there. We can take uh, a, a chance. I mean, the Rams are down by a, a score, but they'd have to get the third down conversion i have to put it on a play of the moment um but yeah so lock's gonna go in we'll try to be a bit more sensible on the next drive but uh Joel covering the receiver here and uh there's no one to throw to he's gonna try to run it and he just slides john walford Joel in coverage here and there's gonna be a pickoff by baron browning Baron Browning going to take it to the house off the interception. Oh, almost to the house. But at the two-yard line, Baron Browning with a great interception there. Great play. Um, and that's going to put the Broncos in pretty prime position to get the touchdown, put this game away. You know, let, let's give uh, Drew Locke a touchdown here. Let's let's get him a touchdown in the preseason. It's probably the only action he's going to see this season or anytime soon, honestly. And Drew Locke gets a touchdown there, throwing it to uh, KJ Hamler, who, who has had a fantastic preseason. Um, Denver, uh, the Rams are going to march it right down the field, though. They're going to be looking for the onside kick here. Um, I, unless they get this, the game's over. And uh, that's going to be a pretty easy pick up there for um, Patrick. Who's Patrick? 
I don't re I don't recall. Oh, Nazi Pat Nazi Patrick or whatever his name is. Um, I was I don't remember an, uh, Patrick on this team besides Tim Patrick. Um, but yeah, so that's gonna be the game. We're just gonna run the clock out here. I mean, I guess if we don't get a first down, it's not game necessarily. But I well, it should be pretty easy here. Um, Mike Boone gonna run it. Rams will use a timeout. Um, So yeah, we're just going to run it till the clock runs out, and um, unless something happens, I will see you guys in our fourth and final preseason game, and then after that game, that will be the video, but we're going to play that game first, so I will see you there in a second. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, somehow I let the Rams get a touchdown there. Um, <laughs> uh, basically what happened was they got the ball back, and this, this play happened, um, Somehow he got so wide open and Patrick was not able or uh, Sertan was not able to catch him and uh, the Rams got a score there and they're going to be going for the two to try to tie it up. So this game's actually not over yet. Um, yeah, that's a little embarrassing, honestly. <laughs> I don't know how they got that playoff. That's pretty crazy. Uh, but Joel's going to be in there. Oh, and they're going to pick it up. So uh, Rams actually get the two point conversion. Broncos do still have three timeouts, though, and some time to run down the field and uh, get the um, get the winning score. Hamler, we're, we're going to actually run it out here. I think we can get a nice little return. We're going to run it out, and Hamler is not even going to get to the 25, so a poor decision. We really only need to get to the 40. I think Vanis can make a kick from about the 40, so um, we're going to try to get all the way down there. Again, we have three timeouts, so we have some time. Um... We're going to do a slant route here. Well, kind of slant routes, uh, cross routes for the receivers. And we're going to be looking and looking. And we're going to try to hit B. And uh, Locke just decided not to throw it. How interesting. <laughs> he uh, literally just didn't throw it. He was like 99% through the motion. And then just decided to stop. So, yeah. I don't really know what happened to our defense, to be honest. Um, we were playing so good. And then we just stopped so we're gonna be looking for um okwuk boonam up the field there with the playmaker great play by okwuk boonam puts us in position to get one more big play kick the field goal and come out of this game with a win um if you don't know how to play make you just flick the right stick up and he, and he goes running up field so that's pretty helpful to know we're gonna hit okwuk boonam again get out of bounds um not a big play actually wasted a bit of time there um, where do we need to get for... Okay, so yeah, we need to get to the 42 for McManus. So, really, we don't need that much more yards. Um, in fact, Hamler actually has a nice little matchup here, so we might get that kind of, like... Mm, no, but Fant... Er, I keep saying Fant. Okugunum gets it up over the middle, and we're going to run the clock out to three seconds left, and we're going to have McManus line up here to try to take the game-winning kick. 54 yards... Can McManus hit it? We're going to see. And good accuracy. He's going to kick it. And the kick is good. McManus wins the game in a nail-biter here in the preseason. Too close of a game. Should not have been that close. The Rams should not even even been able to come back like that. Um, but they are going to uh, come out. The Broncos are going to come out of this one with a win. I will see you guys back for the quarterback mentorship thing. I don't, the, the game should not have even been that close, but uh, yeah. <laughs> well, apparently there is no quarterback mentorship thing for Rodgers. I guess Locke just gets that upgrade, but uh, we are going to be going into the final game of the preseason, and we're gonna, I like to make my cuts before game four. Um, I don't think you have to, but I just, I do. Um, so we are gonna be moving the depth check back to normal, though. Um, we're just going to uh, do the uh, automatic reorder, and then I'll just go through and fix a few of the positions myself um, really quickly. But uh, it, in the meantime, if you guys are enjoying this first episode, let me know down below um, if you guys do want to see more. I mean, I'll be doing more, but, you know, I just would like to see if you guys actually want to see it. Um, but, yeah, so if you have any kind of, like, suggestions, if you want to, you know, anything like that. Um, just let me know down below and uh, you know, this is just all about having fun, you know um, Just hanging out with you guys. You guys can watch me play some Madden and um, With the new roster see how it works and stuff. So it's actually looking pretty good um, The way they set it up honestly 
Javon, okay, KJ Hamlet should be the return man, though. Um, and then I'm going to put Deontay Spencer second. Um, again, KJ Hamler first. Deontay Spencer second. Um, third running back is going to be uh, Melvin Gordon. Actually, no, third running back is uh, Mike Boone, since he's the quickest, I believe. Um, technically, he's not the quickest, but whatever. Um, power back, we're going to give to Javante Williams. Um, and then Melvin Gordon's our starter, obviously. Slot is going to be um, KJ Hamler first, um, then Tim Patrick, then Jerry Judy. And slot corner is going to be um, exactly the way it is. So, yeah, that's the depth charts are actually already up to normal, basically. We're going to make our cuts. So, I hate to do this, but Bob and Moyer, you're gone. Sorry, the game doesn't care about long snappers. Um, quarterback, we're going to keep all three of our guys. Um, so we're going to move uh, Brett Rippey into the practice squad. Halfback, I mean, we have one, two, three, four, five guys. We really only need three. And so I'm going to cut Crockett. I'm going to uh, move Bellamy to the practice squad. And I'm going to move Boone to the practice squad as well. Um, wide receiver, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to move Cleveland to the practice squad as well. Tight end, we have our tight ends. Um, left tackle, we're good. Guard, center. Actually, we're going to go let one of the centers. We're going to let both these centers go, actually. Um, we're going to let go of Slopeman and then um, Saint. No, not not Cushenberry. Nope. Um, it, it glitches like that for some reason. Uh, and then Morris as well. Right guard, right tackle. We're going to let go of Jake Rogers, too. Um... Moving on, left end, we're going to let go of... We're going to move Jonathan Harris to the practice squad. Uh, we're going to move Marquis Spencer to the practice squad. We're going to keep our tackles, left outside linebacker. Um, we're going to let go of Patrick, move Tuska to the practice squad. Linebacker, um, one, two, three, four, five. We're going to let go of Watson. Right outside linebacker is good. Cornerback... One, two, three, four, five. Ah, uh, I like some of these guys. I'm gonna let go of Kenny Tolliver and then move. No, not, not cut. Hold on. Um, and then we're gonna move Kerry Vincent to the practice squad. And then sadly, actually, 69, 65, 66. We're gonna let go of Trey Marshall. And that's gonna be our roster cuts. Um, but yeah. So then we're gonna go into our final preseason game here with our full roster built and we're gonna see how they perform so i'll see you in a second okay ladies and gentlemen and we're here in um i forgot the name of it but in the cardinal stadium um for our final preseason game after this episode we're going to be diving into the first four games of the regular season um in the next episode so stay tuned for that but for right now we're going to be battling to get our fourth straight preseason win and uh, Roger's going to start out here on the drive with a pass. He's going to hit Sutton um, across the field for a nice first down game there. Um, let's see if we can keep a clean game. A game with no turnovers for once. Um, maybe we did that in the first game. I don't remember. But we're going to hit Melvin Gordon up the middle here. And Melvin Gordon is going to get a nice little gain there. J.J. Watt with the stop. Um, Cardinals, I actually think, are going to be a pretty good team rate right this year. Um, if you want to check out my record predictions, I have those up, as well as uh, playoff predictions and uh, a mock draft for um, next year. So if you want to check out that out, go, go ahead. Fant is going to be open, and we're going to hit Fant. He holds on to it. Nice play by Noah Fant there, making our way down the field to start off this game. And Aaron Rodgers already close to activating his X-Factor. Um, that would be nice to have Gambler so he won't throw an interception guaranteed, and he throws faster. Melvin Gordon up the uh, middle for a nice little gain of seven yards there. Uh, good play by Melvin Gordon. We're going to we're gonna pass it here. Play action. So try to surprise him. Looks like they may be going into run defense, and they were. And uh, we're going to try to hit uh, Fant and Fant one, or Fort. That was actually that was Austin Fort. <laughs> Very similar names. Austin Fort with a catch there. You know, as a 59 overall tight end, number three, Austin Ford's been playing pretty well at times this year. Uh, and Aaron Rodgers already has his X-Factor activated. So as long as he doesn't take a sack, I believe he'll stay activated. Or uh, two incompletions will deactivate it. But we're going to run it with um, Melvin Gordon, and he shakes off one guy but cannot shake off any more than that. He loses three yards on the play there. Not what we hoped for. 
Um, I'm, I'm gonna try to run it right now because I want to save his gambler for uh, like a, some big plays downfield so we can try that. But uh, so we're gonna try Melvin Gordon up the field one more time, and um, he's gonna break one tackle before t getting taken down. Gain a four, so he gained one yard in the last two plays basically. We're gonna try to go for the touchdown right here with my favorite play. We're gonna be looking for Hamler right there in the middle. And can we get it? Hamler, and Hamler's gonna get that touchdown. Hamler with yet another touchdown. I believe that's his fourth of the preseason. Hamler is looking pretty good. Honestly, at this point, we could have traded away Cortland Sutton, and I don't think we'd be hurting too much right now. Um, Hamler has put up an absolute production this, uh, this preseason. Could be a special player moving forward, our Tim Patrick replacement. Um, going forward, Aaron Rodgers, we're going to toss it up. Oh, he throws it, and he gets... Okay, that would have been picked off more likely, but again, with the gambler, we're able to take that risk. It was worth it, though. I mean, he was able to get that ball off so quickly. That was pretty impressive, so... Uh, Cardinals go down and score a touchdown. Broncos back on defense. They're going to be looking for a stop here on third down. Um, AJ Johnson's not in the game. I wonder if he got hurt. That would kind of suck. Um, same with Sutton, too, actually. I, or not Sutton, uh, Patrick. I hope they're not hurt. But, uh, oh, they get the first down there. Actually, let's check really quick to make sure they aren't hurt. Because that would, that would kind of stink. That would be uh, pretty disappointing. Uh, no, no injured players, so that's good. Um, they're just not in the field right now, I guess, so... Just letting him rest. Um, so, yeah. Oh, I guess they're starting backups. I didn't know they did that in game four. But, um, so Cardinals down here at the 14-yard line in the red zone. They're looking for the touchdown here. Um, Joel going to be covering their tight end. And, oh, the receiver's going to be wide open. And he gets into the end zone for the touchdown. Arizona goes up by seven. Um, is that Rondale Moore? No, I don't think it's Rondale Moore. Um, <laughs> but, um... Yeah, nice play there by the by the Cardinals. Broncos back on defense again. They're going to be looking for the stop here on four or thir third down. Um, Joel going to be in coverage here, covering the slant. Oh, there's a bunch of guys open, but they didn't get the first down. So that's going to be a stop for the Denver defense there on third down. Cardinals will punt it away, and the Broncos are going to be looking up to tie the game before the... Um, before, why are they having us? Oh, is it a fake? Oh, it's a, I think it's fake. It's a fake. It's a fake. Oh, what? What? Uh huh? Ma Madden? What? Madden? Ma Madden? What are you? Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> well, we're clipping that. Might send that to Ryan Moody or something. Wow. Um. That that was uh. <laughs> That's Madden for you, ladies and gentlemen. That is Madden for you. I mean, technically we got the stop, so like whatever, but that that's Madden for you. Um, <laughs> wow. Saw it here first, folks. Bridgewater in for the game. Um, in for Rodgers. He's going to throw it to Fant here, or Okugbunam, and Okugbunam down the, si down the sideline. Nice pick up there on third down. Maybe that was. I didn't look at the down, but um, we're going to be marching down the field here looking for a touchdown to tie up the game. <laughs> I'm still thinking about that weird play. I mean, it's the definition of Madden. So, Javante Williams stopped at the line, picks up a couple yards, but he's not having a good game, actually. He's only rushed for negative three yards, so um, not having a very good game. This Cardinals defense is playing pretty good, apparently. Oh, but Javante Williams, as I say that, finds a hole up the middle for a nice gain there um, on first, second down, whatever it was. Um, we gotta hurry up, though, as the uh, clock is ticking down. We're gonna go to uh, we're gonna go to one of my other favorite plays i haven't used yet actually um we're gonna adjust it the way i like it put hamler on the crossing route this guy up that's the play art <laughs> um and then and then and then we're gonna try to hit fant for the touchdown oh but he breaks it up good defense there by whoever that was victor dimikiji is down with an injury Luckily, we have not de dealt with any um, injuries so far in the preseason. Been pretty lucky with that. We're going to try to hit Hamler in the corner of the end zone. Hamler, what a catch! Hamler is going off in the preseason. That is five touchdowns, I believe. With catches like that, oh my god. Dude, Hamler is going off. Wow, what a catch. What a catch. Hamler is looking pretty freaking good. I will say that. Maybe maybe Judy and Hamler is our future. Um, because, you know, Sutton's not been playing amazing. 
And uh, Judy's not been great either, obviously, but Hamler has just been putting up crazy production. Uh, they're going to leave the running back wide open. They're going to get a free little play of eight yards there. Um, but second down here, Broncos are going to be looking for a stop once again in the end zone or in the red zone here. Tie game, but the Cardinals are looking to change that. Send the running back into motion, and Jewel's going to stay in coverage. Co oh, dang. Nice play there by the Cardinals offense. Once again, a touchdown for them. They're up by seven once again. Uh, Denver going to give that ball right back to the Cardinals, apparently. <laughs> um, and the Cardinals are right back in the end zone. That's not good. Um, can we make a stop? No, because apparently I clicked uh, run commit, and I did not mean to. The Cardinals are now up by two touchdowns. Things are not looking good right now for Denver. Um, yeah, offense is not working out. Defense is having some trouble with this offense. So hopefully we can put another score up on here. Once again, Hamlin might have the speed threat on this play. But instead, there's no one to go to. He's going to throw it, though. Luckily, that's not intentional grounding. Could have thrown it to Fant, but there was not enough time. Four or I, I thought that said four interceptions from Bridgewater. And I was about to lose it. I was definitely going to put lock in at that point. Um, so Denver down here in the red zone. Uh, they're going to they're looking for some sort of a mismatch here. And um, they're going to find it in Seth Williams, perhaps. And Seth Williams goes up, doesn't make the catch. Actually, he didn't even try to make the catch. Um, second and goal here for the Broncos. Um, they're going to be going with... Um, we're going to be doing a curl flat play right here. Could be some nice matchups. Beck going to be running out of the bat, out of the end zone. Beck is going to be there for the touchdown. Denver down by seven. Beck with his first receiving touchdown of the preseason and maybe his first receiving touchdown ever. Um, Denver getting the ball back again. We're going to be sending Hamler on a little slant route this time. Something a little different. We're going to be putting Okupunum up the field. Um, and we're going to... Oh, we were going to try to hit um, Hamler there, but Devon Kennard got to us before we could. Um... Fourth down for Broncos. They're going to have to punt it away. Cardinals, they're going to... It looks like it's going to be a fake again. Hopefully, there's not some glitch again. Um, we're going to try to stop them here, though. Oh, it's not a fake, so they're just going to want us to return it. Um, Hamler, no, what are you doing? Hamler, no, what are you doing? Hamler, no, what are you doing? Hamler. <laughs> wow. Well, I guess we're going to have to try to make a game-winning drive from the three-yard line. John Elway much. And I don't really view Bridgewater as John Elway. So this is going to be a diff difficult task here for the Broncos offense, but it can happen. We tried to run it up the middle there, but running probably not going to be an option here. Uh, if we're going to try to want to go downfield, let's go to my favorite play right here. Try to potentially hit Hamler. Uh, Spencer also has a potential nice matchup on the outside. Oh, two minute warning called. Two minutes for Broncos to go. 97 yards and tie up this game because Hamler doesn't know how to find the ball in a kickoff apparently Hamler oh we had Hamler there we had Hamler and they got to us for the safety that's probably game dang leaky foe too that's disappointing um Dang, they, ju they just got to us before I could throw the ball. That's disappointing. But, you know, that was a very good... I mean, the game is not over yet, but it's it's pretty much over. Um, you know, really nice um, preseason, though, here from Denver. Saw some really nice things, obviously. Oh, they have a, a touchdown there. If we, uh, if we get the onside kick, then uh, this could work out. And kick it as hard as you can at the player. And they just caught it. Blow him up? Nope. Okay, Hopkins got it. Yeah, that's going to be game. Um, but really nice preseason here by Denver, though. Um, did some good things. Upgraded a few players, you know. So overall, yeah, I think it was a success. We'll be moving into the regular season in our next episode. Um, so stay tuned for that. If you guys did watch all the way through, though, thank you for watching the whole thing. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Uh, turn on the notification bell so you never miss an upload. Thank you guys so much for watching. We're going to go to the main menu to make sure there's nothing real quick. But I will see all you guys in the next video. Um, in the meantime, while we are waiting for that, 
Um, you know, if you guys want to see anything specific on the channel, you have any video requests, any video ideas, just let me know in the comments down below. You know, I, I respond to pretty much every one of you. Um, even if I don't respond, you know, I, I read the comments. Um, I, I enjoy talking with you guys. So, you know, if you have any suggestions or anything, uh, even for this franchise or whatever, go ahead and drop it down below. And um, also, I did want to just put out there, I will be running a fantasy football league at some point. So if you are interested in that, let me know down below in the comments. Um, if you're hearing this, of course, this is the end of the video. But yeah, if you want to join that, let me know. But it does look like there's not going to be much. We'll get into week one stuff next, next uh, episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see all you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.